when it comes to Champions League, there is one team that is always the favorite in Champions League. That is Man City. It doesn't matter who they play against. It doesn't matter the team they are playing against, how much history they have. Since Pep Guardiola joined Man City, they are always the favorite. ESPN panel already made several videos about this tie and every panelist already suggesting that Man City is favorite. So let's listen to their arguments and try to debunk each arguments. It's their tie in the Champions League semi-final against Manchester City. Manchester City coming into this as the big favorites, uh, Luis. So this is Buki's favorite list. Does it surprise you? Not at all. We have seen times to times every day from last year to this year. Interesting to see it because it feels as though that's a general consensus as well, even though we saw what happened last year between these two sides. So who do you have as the favorite to go to the final out of these two? Okay, I have to say once again that I, I think that is favorite Manchester City. I thought last year, I think they did an amazing job, but they didn't, uh, they were not expecting what happened with Real Madrid, what you allow them to believe. You cannot give a beast like this, a, this different animal that is uh, Real Madrid in Champions League, just a little bit of anything, because that belief uh, make them become uh, what, it, what they are, the best team in Champions League, uh, 14 trophies, and at the moment with that confidence that allowed them to do and change any kind of score that they got in front. I still think that Real Madrid, even though that they could be favorites because they're going to start uh, in, at the Bernabeu and then go back to Manchester City, Manchester City, our favorite. They go. So in his argument, what he's trying to suggest that last year, why Man City lost is more onto Man City rather than Real Madrid's play style. He's suggesting that Man City surrendered rather than Real Madrid increased their intensity and they won the game eventually. One thing I would say, it's not Man City gave up. They had to give up because Real Madrid increased their intensity. We have seen many times last year, almost every lag last year, Whenever Real Madrid increased their intensity, every team surrenders. That's the reality. We have seen against PSG. We have seen against Chelsea. We have seen against Man City. The never give up mentality alongside youth players, energetic players and experienced players combined everything does favor Real Madrid. Well, better argument, better phases of it. They control every phase of the game. And uh, in this kind of tournaments they are with more desire they are missing that trophy for such a long time they are with the determination and the side that you need to have and Real Madrid is like another one so they will play like they always do with that uh, competitiveness with that history and the background that they have but I think the Manchester City at the moment for me they are favorites so we don't have to argue over who Luis Garcia picks in Champions League. Last year, he picked any other team against Real Madrid because that's how he hates Real Madrid. So this is no surprise to me at all. And honestly, believe it or not, whenever he picks any other team other than Real Madrid, that makes me happy because every time he goes against us, we win. So hopefully this time that will be the case again. City get it done this time, Ale. Uh, is, is that a question? Yes. Yes. It's kind of a statement to, to agree or disagree with. Well, I, I agree. I agree that Manchester City gets it done. And I think of all the things that Luis pointed out there, the fact that the second leg is played at Manchester City is critical. Not so much for Manchester City as much as it is for Real Madrid. The magic of Santiago Bernabeu, a magical Champions League night at Santiago Bernabeu, and, and that aura that seems to be all around that that stadium that somehow forces Real Madrid and pushes Real Madrid to a different level entirely and stops other teams from playing, not quite happening if it's not being played there, right? Mm -hmm. And so for me, Manchester City coming to this, having a body of work that is stronger than that of Real Madrid's over the course of the season. They have more depth in uh, coming off the bench. They have more options. They have a much more solid and more balanced team than what Real Madrid has been this season. Now, people will focus on Real Madrid and Champions League and say, what are you talking about? Well, just watch Real Madrid play like we do every single weekend, and you would know that this team has vulnerabilities. And Manchester City is the sort of team that can exploit those vulnerabilities. 
So, so many points to untangle here. First of all, he said uh, the advantage Man City has is second leg at their home. I do agree that that's the advantage having a home game, second leg. The other point he also discussed that Man City has better squad depth and better team. I do agree that they have better squad depth. I think we, Real Madrid, don't have the best squad depth this season. However, if you just compare first starting 11, Man City versus Real Madrid, say if you compare the first starting 11 that played for Man City against Bayern Munich, there's only two players that would start in this Real Madrid team, Haaland and De Bruyne. There's not a single other player who would start this Real Madrid team. Now you can argue Man City is better in terms of domination, that's what they love to do. But in football, it's not about how you dominate, how much possession you have, how much pressure you have. Those are minor factors. In football, what does matter is scoring goals. You can have only three chances and you can have three goals, right? And you can have 10 chances, you can have zero goals. So the matter that is important is scoring goals. That's the exact reason why Real Madrid won against Man City last season. Adding along, Stevie, you've got City going to the final. Yeah, I've got City. I, I can't get Anfield out of my head, to be honest, because I think Man City can do to Real Madrid what Liverpool did for the first half hour at Anfield. But Man City won't do what Liverpool did the rest of the game. Mm. And Really, STB, did you watch the game against Man City last season at Barnabu, what Real Madrid did? I don't think any other team would surrender like that other than Man City. So you, could just, you just cannot say Man City would not do it. And collapse. That's why I'm going for City. Also, he also pointed out that the debacle Real Madrid had in first 20 minutes at Anfield. Well, you can also use the same argument to say that there is no other team has done that at Anfield. You're 2-0 down. Every other team would say, we are done. We are doomed here. But Real Madrid said, no, we are not done here. We will be back. And Real Madrid won that 5-2. That trash Liverpool by 5-2 at their home. First team to have ever done that in Champions League history. And do you also want to know another fun story? When Man City played at Anfield, they lost 1-0 with Haaland. Also, let's analyze Man City's performance against Bayern Munich. First of all, Bayern has a new coach. So different tactics and different settings. So it didn't work pretty well. In my opinion, if Nagelmans would be managing Bayern Munich, they would be winning against Man City easily. Second, you can take Tuchel out of Chelsea, but you cannot take Chelsea out of Tuchel. Also, if you look at their performance of Bayern Munich against Man City, they were equal until Bayern did a mistake, defending mistake, a silly high school mistake. Also, when you play against Real Madrid, you will not have that much space to work. Real Madrid plays totally different style of football than Bayern Munich. And if you look at second leg of Bayern Munich, they played really well at first half. They were created a lot of chances, but their finishing was so poor, like Chelsea. And if you gave those chances to Real Madrid, <laughs> there would be 3 or 4-0 easily. If you look at this Real Madrid's counter-attack football, not many teams can stop them. If you give them a space, especially that's very tempting against Man City. The way Man City plays possession high press football, there will be lots of space for Real Madrid. Vinicius and Rodrigo will be licking their lips. Oh, this is how we have to play. This is how we have to attack. That's how everyone's going for City when it comes you, to this one. You seem very angry about this. I, I'm not angry about no, no, it. No, there's but a quiet it's, it's anger coming this way. I can it's feel it. It's interesting how part. often. No, but it's just interesting how often Real Madrid are underestimated in this competition, and then we see what okay. happens. That's a fact. In this competition, Real Madrid is underestimated very often, especially against Man City. And today, every panelist today, even last couple of days, every panelist picked Man City over Real Madrid, which tells us that this pundit never looks at the history of Champions League. It doesn't matter how good you are in your league. I mean, forget about the league. Okay, talk about the league. Even in league, they are not the number one. It's Arsenal who's top of the league. Second of all, you cannot use that league performance for Champions League. Champions League is totally different thing, right? Like Real Madrid, look at our performance in the league. Not so good at all. We're second, Barca is winning easily. But when you see our performance this season, look at the performance against Liverpool or Chelsea. Like our performance is so different, so great. Because in Champions League, a lot of teams like Real Madrid plays in different level. Against Chelsea, Real Madrid did not even play second year, yet won easily. They walked the tie. How, how, is, how is saying that, and Luis said it, that this is the best team in Champions League, right. Real Madrid? How is that underestimating Real Madrid? Right. Because that's contradictory. This is the best team in Champions League. 
yet you haven't picked that team to win the Champions League. Isn't that contradictory? Also, I checked head-to-head -head performance of Real Madrid versus Man City in last 10 games. Real Madrid won four, Man City won four, and two draw. So it's equal in terms of head-to-head. -head. Let me know your prediction for this tie.